How's it going, guys? We have a past level question for endocrine pathology, step one, internal medicine, 2CK. Before we get started, please subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate it. Give me a like, really appreciate it. I mean, Instagram, Melman underscore medical, MEHL, man underscore medical links down below. I mean, Telegram, links to Telegram, group and channel down below. And I'll start the play. 36 year old man, severe left hip pain for the past two weeks, 10 pound weight gain during the past six months, despite no change in diet, peripheral vision limited bilaterally. MRI of the head shows a pituitary adenoma. MRI of the left hip is shown, which the following hormones most likely secreted by the patient's adenoma. Then we've got this MRI here. If you even if you don't know what you're looking at, there's two ways. There's two ways to go about this. Either you're a radiology expert, okay, and you say, well, obviously this is a vascular necrosis where you've got the white bone here with the black area. That's the necrosed bone. Okay, you could know that just looking at this. But if you don't know what you're looking at, you can kind of connect the dots by saying, well, we've got a pituitary adenoma, plus it's a it's a hormone we have to pick. So which one of these hormones could cause a hip problem? And then you say, oh, that's gotta be a vascular necrosis. That's how the USMLE can assess things sometimes. There's a bigger picture concept involved where you can ascertain what they're getting at, or you can just know the, you know, the radiology as an example. So let's just whip through the answers here. Choice A, adrenal corticotropic hormone is TH, correct answer. So this is Cushing disease, anterior pituitary hormone screening is TH, which, you need to know ACTH causes the zona fasciculata of the adrenal cortex to secrete cortisol, glucocorticoids, can cause a vascular necrosis of the femoral head. That's past level. They can give you the same fucking question, and rather than giving you left hip pain where it's a vascular necrosis, they could tell you that there's compression fractures of two of the vertebrae, and you need to know compression fractures equal osteoporosis, and that's also going to be Cushing's. I've seen that on the NBME exam. So... They don't have to tell you buzzy things for Cushing's, like purple striae, central obesity, moon facies, buffalo. They don't have to say those things. Now, here, there's weight gain. So that can be a contributory uh, corroborating detail for Cushing's. So let's just whip to the other answer choice here. Choice B, follicle-stimulating hormone, wrong fucking answer. So FSH is going to stimulate the granulosa cells in females, Sertoli cells in males to secrete aromatase um, in males, androgen-binding protein. Uh, in both genders, inhibin B, uh, in males also malaria inhibitory factor during development, and of course in females follicular development. FSH would be a down arrow in uh, PCOS polycystic ovarian syndrome. Wrong fucking answer. Choice C growth hormone. Wrong fucking answer. So acromegaly, of course, uh, can cause um, prognathism, large jaw, and a high yield point you could know is that when we're testing for acromegaly, we don't measure serum growth hormone. We measure serum IGF-1, insulin-like growth factor 1. So the growth hormone will cause the liver to secrete IGF-1, and then it's IGF-1 that has the growth effect on tissues. It's asked on one of the two CK forms. You could also know that acromegaly can lead to hypertension and cardiomegaly. That's important. And arthritis. Uh, due to enlargement of the joints, and also carpal tunnel syndrome. It's one of the high yield causes of carpal tunnel syndrome. So pregnancy, hypothyroidism, and acromegaly, three important causes of uh, carpal tunnel syndrome. Wrong fucking answer. Show is delunizing hormone, wrong fucking answer. So LH is going to act on the theca interna cells in females and the latex cells in males to secrete androgens, androstenedione, testosterone, and then, of course, as I just said before, FSA checks on the granulosa cells in females, Sertoli cells in males to make aromatase. So the androgens produced by the theca interna cells and latex cells will be aromatized into estrogens. That's our mechanism when we have LH and FSH acting on the gonads. LH, of course, is an up arrow in polycystic ovarian syndrome, so increased LH to FSH ratio. Wrong fucking answer. Choice C, thyroid stimulating hormone, wrong fucking answer. So TSH, uh, we would have hyperthyroidism here. Now, I told you a moment ago that uh, another way they can ask this question for Cushing disease is rather than vascular necrosis, they can give you the lytic lesions or the, not the lytic lesions, the compression fractures uh, for osteoporosis, okay? And so I've seen students erroneously choose TSH for that because they say, well, uh, can't hyperthyroidism lead to osteoporosis? And then there's two points I make. One, they give you weight gain, not weight loss. Okay, so if you had a TSH screen tumor, secondary hyperthyroidism, you'd have weight 
weight loss, not weight gain, if anything. And the second point is I've never seen you similarly assess osteoporosis directly uh, as a result of hyperthyroidism. Like I'm sure we could Google it and it comes up and it's possible, but like when we're in a situation like this, question they want on US is going to be ACTH because cortisol, important cause of osteoporosis. And obviously the focus of this question, you need to know glucocorticoids can cause avascular necrosis of the femoral head. It's going to show you uh, a black area on uh, femoral head on the MRI. All right. And on an x-ray, it's going to be compacted slash contracted slash flattened is how they'll describe it. Wrong fucking answer. You know the deal. I'm going to make more content. If you like my stuff, subscribe my channel. Appreciate your time. That's it.